Okay, we're gonna try this hotel over here. I think this is like a quality inn or something. This has gotta be the perfect spot. Hey everyone, welcome back to the car camper. This is Claire, Parker's here. And as you read in the title, we are stealth camping tonight. Now I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but it just felt a little bit too doom and gloom. But now that my own contract is ending, I will talk more in a bit about like what's next, but it is was a reminder to me that Sometimes I could get too comfortable in my apartment and it was, I had a very good situation and yeah, and it's ending. So we are hovering around freezing tonight. I did bring something new that we're going to try out for our heat. We're going to be heading into much colder weather very soon. And this probably is not going to cut it for that, but I think for tonight it will be okay. I'm going to run to the shop and then I'll be back. Fortunately, we don't have to buy too many groceries here because last night I was able to stow some of the groceries just in the car. I do have to find them, but that's another story. haven't even gotten to our stealth sketchy camping spot but I already feel really sketchy <laughs> but whatever check out that moon gorgeous terribly cozy in here. I think I'm just gonna leave the windshield one open because it's a kind of a nice view and I don't think anyone's really hanging out in the field and we're not gonna be here that long. We're just here to eat. I hope I can find it. Oh, I found it already. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. My drink is cold. Oh wow, this smells so good. I'm like loving that basil smell. Okay, we're almost done. Woo! So yeah, it's been like 25 minutes and I'm definitely smelling our dinner. Oh, our dinner just popped off. So it's been approximately 25 minutes. So let's go ahead and eat and then we will start thinking about moving to our primary stealth location. All right. Let's give it a try. It's kind of falling apart. Ooh, whoa, that is extremely hot. But the cool thing is, is that we have 89% left on our power station. Just want to be transparent with you guys i had some kind of air freshener thing that you hang up in your car by accident i had bought something and i forgot that i'm allergic to certain things and i hung it up in my car and it's been in there and i started developing a massive headache we are still going stealth camping but i had to come back to the apartment and take ibuprofen and i rolled down the windows of the car and i'm just gonna let it air out for like half an hour All right, guys, <laughs> no mic here. So um, I slept for like an hour, which is really good because I'm having a really bad sleep deficit right now. And my headache is gone. Let's head back out there. We're gonna leave our cozy, warm apartment, <laughs> which is a little hard, honestly, because it is so cozy, but this is really good for me. And it has gotten a lot colder uh, since we came in, like I think it's what, like an hour and a half ago. So it is definitely a cool down, but I'm from my winter jacket 
and we're going to head to our stealth locale. Let's go. Ready go bye-bye? <laughs> yeah, you did. It's smaller than I thought, but I think I can make it work. It's pretty late. There are still free spots, so I don't feel like I'm taking from anyone. This is a little bit smaller than what I first thought. We're going to have to be actually like kind of pretty chill here. The main concern right now would be people looking down on their car because that's what I do. When I go to a hotel, I tend to park where I can see my car and then I watch my car like a hawk. So we're going to have to be careful. And another thing I just realized is Mr. P here, he has not been out um, in all of the headache situation and getting back excitement of getting back into the car I foolishly forgot to let him go potty as we came from the apartment to the car so that was a big mistake on my part but you know it's not his fault that I'm doing this so we have to make sure that he's taken care of so I'm gonna have to get out here I'm gonna have to walk him so well we'll see how we do because if I don't practice then this will be even harder that was a very big burp I wish I'd gotten that on mic yeah I love you I love him I love that dog what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off these lights and I'm just gonna wait for a while before I put up my window covers I'm just gonna probably set a timer on my phone wait about maybe 10 minutes and just kind of let it blow over if maybe they got up to change a channel or that is so dumb change a channel what is this like 1984 but maybe they got up to go to the bathroom looked out happened to see me and so we're just gonna let this blow over guys i know this night has had a lot of twists and turns i'm gonna go ahead and leave this place because this whole time i've been sitting here i feel like i feel so ridiculous but this whole time i thought there was a shed across the street but it's a house i can't believe i didn't notice that like that was a garage not a shed okay we're gonna try this hotel over here i think this is like a quality inn or something we just have to make sure that there's like no you know sign signage that would make us doing something wrong oh this looks like a oh this looks like our place oh this is much better yeah this is a better situation this has got to be the perfect spot I'm going to quick put my black side out shield. Still 35 degrees feels like 28. I am totally fine right now. I'm like totally fine. Such a cute little jug. It's like we're pulling 58 watts and we have 87 percentage left. I was thinking that I would be in here like with my electric blanket, like shivering, but I'm like taking layers off. By the way, this is not sponsored in any way, but Carhartt, it, it does not let me down. Like this winter jacket, yeah, I had to take it off and it's wind chill 28 degrees. That tells you something. So what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, guys, so let me go ahead and debrief you on the job situation. I was hired through a temp agency, and I just want to preface this by saying that if you know me, if you could uh, please um, not say the name, any names of like any agencies or companies, just for my own um, privacy, I would really, it would really mean a lot to me if that's not shared in the comments. So basically, I was hired through a temp agency to work for this company. And it was like a really big blessing in my life. You guys know I was a conservative Mennonite for a while. And then I came upon some really rough times, like very hard times, which are actually still really hard for me to talk about. I basically came up here with the clothes on my back. I really didn't have anything. I had, well, I did have something. I had my dog and a newly financed car. And, <laughs> but that was about it besides the clothes on my back. So yeah, so this has really given me a chance to recover financially, to um, pay off um, some 
like some debts. So anyway, uh, we did find out that our contract is ending. So I have like, I have kind of some bad news and some kind of good news, I guess you could look at it. Um, the bad news is that, well, I was, I had a really nice uh, little situation because I had not, I have not been paying rent uh, for the last couple years that I've been here because we had rental reimbursement. Uh, I do have some costs that I pay associated with having an apartment, but the full rent uh, has been reimbursed and covered. So I'm going to be losing that, which is, you know, really hard. But I guess like kind of the silver lining here is that I was hired by the company, like the company where I've been working all this time. So I was hired by them. So I didn't want to say anything until I knew officially, but I have a start date. So I will be working there. And it is going to be a little bit, I kind of alluded to this in my last video about, you know, some changes and it being harder. And basically what I meant by that was, I've just been pretty spoiled, to be honest, these last couple of years that I've been here, this time I've been here. So I'm going to probably find a cheaper place to live that's going to be, you know, when my lease ends and I may have to work more overtime. I don't really plan to work here like for the rest of my life by any means. I mean, it's a nice place, but I just don't really see myself like, you know, for the rest of my life working there or like until I retire. I don't think I'll ever retire. I'm like too hyperactive to retire probably. But um, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so basically I was saving like the rent money like that I would have been making. I was kind of like thinking I would get like a van and then go or some kind of vehicle and go full time on the road. So <laughs> this has kind of put a wrench in those plans. I could theoretically get on the road in this car. I mean, I'm sure I could scrape by, but I just love doing this so much. I love making YouTube videos so much that I don't ever want it there to be a strain on it if possible. I would really, um, I'd really like for it to continue to be like something that I love doing. If it ever leads to a full-time situation, I would absolutely love that. I would love to be on the road full time doing this, but I don't want to struggle doing it because I don't want to take something I love and put a strain on it. So I, before I go out on the road like that, I want to be sure that like I'm fully ready. I don't want there to be any question in my mind that I'm not ready. So it is a little bit hard because I do get impatient. I do get restless, but I think there could be some trips in here. There may even be a point where, yeah, there could be a point where I go on a very long trip and then resume working. We'll just have to see how it works out. But I do have a little bit of short term good news. And that is that I am taking a little break from work uh, before my new job starts. And so the rest of the videos that you'll be seeing this year will be from like just my trip of traveling around. Now I have to warn you all, uh, this trip, it is, you know, we're not going to Arizona. I can't go, I'm basically flying out of the Midwest to go visit uh, my family. So we're not gonna stray too far because I do have a flight to get on. Um, rel not like that soon, but you know, in the near future, I do have a flight scheduled out of here. So <laughs> we can't like drive to Arizona and then drive all the way back to the upper Midwest. That would be a little ridiculous. But I do have some time off, so I think you guys are gonna be seeing some pretty fun videos, kind of interesting ones, I hope. So I did just want to like give you guys an update. I'm doing a lot better. It was a pretty big shock for me, but you know, I still have a job. It could have been a lot worse. I could have gotten laid off where I'm working right now in the town I am. Like some people just got laid off like in a different company. So I really do have a lot to be thankful for. It is just going to be an adjustment. The third spot I've visited, but I think I am going to commit to sleeping here tonight. It's close to where I want to hike tomorrow. And the rain's letting up. Get a little homemade pup cup. You know what pup cup means, don't you? I need to find a bowl for you, though. We need to find a bowl. Oh, bud, I hope you're going to be okay. This is like your second pup cup of the day. We don't usually do this, but... Okay, here you go. There you go. I know you like your pup cup. I am starting to get a little bit chilly because I took my big jacket off. I'm sure I would be fine if I put my big jacket back on but it is rather large and oh, our water, I mean, our milk is done, but it is pretty big. And I think I will like at this point, I will feel more comfortable putting my electric blanket on. So that's perfect timing because right as our milk is finished, 
we can plug in our 12 volt blanket. So I'm really excited to see how this works. I haven't even tried it yet at all. Okay, so let's unplug this one, plug this one in so that can kind of warm up while we're prepping our hot chocolate. We're not gonna talk about what I stirred that with, but I promise it was clean. It is so hard to, for me, to have like spoons and stuff around. I need to come up with a system. All right, I love my jacket, but it's nice to have, it's nice to have it off because it is really bulky. So I'm gonna, my legs are getting a little chilly. So I'm gonna put this like around my legs. Are you happy? Are you doing a happy dance back there? I thought I heard you doing a happy dance. So I don't feel any warmth yet. I'm hoping that I will feel it in a little bit. Maybe it just takes like a little bit of time for it to warm up. Woo. Okay, so I'm definitely starting to uh, feel the warmth of the blanket. I am loving it. It's nice not to have that bulky jacket on. <laughs> Super nice. Nice little fillets going. It is currently 32 degrees and feels like 25, but I am totally fine. This blanket is fine. Like it's definitely warmed up. My legs are completely warm and this is all I have on right now. Like literally it's, I mean, I have my clothes on obviously, but I don't have my heavy winter jacket on. I just have this on. So yeah, I'll like link it. I'll link it because I really like it. Um, but you can just, you can get these anywhere. Like I will link it, but I mean, you can get them anywhere. You can get them at Walmart, I think, like in the car section. Tomorrow I need to get packing for my trip. I have a lot of to do tomorrow um, to get ready, to get the car ready, and I need to get my rest. Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, actually it's like noon, so I didn't catch myself waking up. I was just like really distracted by the weather because there's a massive snowstorm coming. But anyway, quick recap on the night really good i have to report that i was very warm i was much warmer than i was in the last video i filmed because in the last video i was in my like this one the small sleeping bag and i had this blanket on top and this blanket kept sliding off and i would have been warm enough i believe if this had not been sliding off but just putting this smaller sleeping bag in the larger sleeping bag it was just such a game changer for me because i did not deal with that and i didn't feel as like boxed in oh my goodness this sleeping bag is massive oh my goodness <laughs> it was just very comfortable very warm i was not cold whatsoever and it got down like just like right around 30 degrees and i think the wind chill like what it felt like was something like 24 or something but i felt totally fine in fact i took my hat off this was very cozy i loved it i was watching youtube for like an hour and a half i had this on i did unplug it because i didn't want parker to chew on this he's chewed on wires before he's never chewed on a live one but i was a little bit nervous that he might so i did unplug it to be safe i'm um, sorry this ending is so hurried but there is like a big storm coming and i've been so busy i haven't really been like focusing on weather so i definitely have to like yeah it's even getting cloudy i mean the storm isn't coming till like later but yeah, I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I hope this doesn't turn into a staycation. I really do want to get on the road here. So, yeah, I got to go home and uh, figure all these logistics out. But we had a great night. I hope you enjoyed this. We do have some more cold weather camping coming up. If you liked it, please hit the like button in the description and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.